Hey Jules Plus Vegan and as always welcome to my channel and for those of you who are new I know you can benefit. You know I was thinking when I first started this channel probably like I don't know the first hundred videos at least I used to say and I hope you can benefit and I was like hope no I know you can because <laughs> why am I doing it if you can't benefit right so yeah there's a little growth right there and confidence. So yes, I know you can benefit. Anyway, I indicated yesterday that I was going to kind of be doing a tribute to the queen, uh, Elizabeth, who just passed away at 96 years old, and do some quotes of hers that I admire. And there's a gazillion, of course, so I can only pick so many. But also, I'm kind of buying time. I like to be accountable to my JBV community, which is Jules Plus Vegan. Uh, but I'm drowning in my life, you know, and should I affirm that I'm drowning? Um, I can affirm that I'm drowning. Like people say, well, don't affirm it. It'll make it true. It's true already. <laughs> it is true already. Um, so yeah, just super crazy busy. It's a different kind of, um, year for me at work and, uh, just stuff in my life. So I thought, look, I'll be accountable by sharing some fantastic quotes and, and just, you know, being here because that's enough for me to just check in and I'm so blessed to have you. Thank you. So this is a really good one. It says work is the rent you pay for the room you occupy on earth. And of course they don't mean just a room, though one probably pays a form of rent for that room. But yeah, you know, just being here on the planet, there's a certain accountability there. You know, there's so much going on and, and it's interesting. I'm just reading these quotes for the first time, but I can't help but perceive them through my own value system, right? Because I don't have the backstory on what Queen Elizabeth was thinking when she wrote the quote or not. Uh, but I know that collectively, uh, the human endeavor, you know, we come and go far less than a hundred years for many, slightly more than a hundred for a few. Uh, but, you know, not much more than that to make our brief impact. We're one of a kind. There'll never be another. Our selves belong to ourselves. God made each of us unique. We're all called with gifts. Whether we find those gifts during our lifetime, whether we have the courage to say yes to the responsibility of fulfilling those gifts, it's a whole nother story. But with the understanding, like right now I can say, we're both coexisting on this planet at the same time in all of time. Because obviously, before I was born, I missed all those people. And when I'm gone, I will miss those people as well. But for some reason, you found Jules Bless Vegan, and, and praise God, I have you present in this brief snippet of time. And there's something very divine about that. Um, so what are we going to do about it, right? What is our calling? What is our obligation? And so that's what she means, you know. Sure, you can sit in your rocking chair with one light on and don't open the door if somebody knocks and don't answer the phone or let it go to the machine and check the machine later and all those things to avoid being present. But the fun part is actually engaging and and though it won't be lovely and it can be a lot of work at the time and and why pay rent when someone should be paying you is how it's going to feel there's a tremendously dynamic powerful experience in just breathing and being human i, I think of the you know 4.5 million people who exited the planet from COVID alone, you know, in the last few years. And I get it, it's controversial, but no matter what, they're gone. <laughs> and I knew many, I mean, seriously, I, I've known about 16 people who left the planet under the guise of COVID. Um, but we're here, you know? I don't even know how many people have recently died in the war and stuff like that, but we're here. People with heart attacks, we're here. All the cancers, we're here car accidents, unexpected, we're here. So in being here, let's pay that rent with our actions, right? 
Because really what people realize, especially when they're two years younger than God, let's be fair, like I am, <laughs> that at some point, your time and your quality of life isn't worth any amount of money. I've kind of gotten that way a couple of times where somebody has literally said to me, I'll pay you 200 bucks, you know, to come and do blank, blank, blank. And I'm like, $200? That just seems like so much money. It would be such a blessing. And at times it would have been more money than I could have fathomed. But guess what? No, I can't do it. I can't make myself do it because the price, not the cash, the price to my quality of life, which is so limited right now because I am a person super engaged who gives, gives, gives is far greater than $200. So yeah, all work. I do so much of it for free. I offer myself so much. Let that be the rent, the spiritual rent. When we talk about getting ready for heaven, for building the coming kingdom, uh, for when we finally get there, that so much of what we do here is really just a cha-ching in heaven. We won't see the rewards while we're here. I'm constantly paying that rent. And I accept that's for the room that I very briefly occupy in the 110 or so years that I'm here. And Queen Elizabeth got that. She was a very spiritual, dedicated person. And she knew Christ and she knew Christianity and she knew the expectations. And, and from her first speech at, you know, 22 or so, and I mean like the formal one to the world and then certainly accepting the coronation and the crown at 26, her promise was to serve us. And despite children, despite grandchildren, despite a husband, despite, 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 she never to her last breath forgot that she had chosen service. And you know, I get that, I so get that. So I hope you can relate to this at all. Like if you like Joni's, if you haven't subscribed, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts were on that, how I can support you, and until you talk again, till you talk again, <laughs> people, do you know that when you teach in a room of children, they literally take your breath? Yeah, it's been proven. They steal the oxygen right out of the room. Anyway, until we talk again, best of all, we're still breathing, there's still hope. And we're blessed.